Hey, welcome back to the shop. This week's project is going to be to get this vintage Craftsman tool chest cleaned up and put back into service. I'll bring you in a little closer and show you some of the details of it, and I'll explain what I'm doing with it. All right, this thing is filthy dirty. It's been sitting over in the corner of my shop for probably a year. I've just been shoving stuff in it, and I'm going to show you here in a minute everything that I pulled out of it. Uh, it's all Craftsman stuff. But the drawer is open, except for the bottom one. It's jammed. You definitely will have to get the drawers out and get them cleaned and lubricated. The paint is okay. It's got a lot of overspray and just grime and grease on it. Hopefully it will clean up nice. And what I'm going to be doing with this is upstairs in my shop, I've got a room that I've cleaned out that I've slowly over the last two years been turning into kind of a display area. And this is going to be part of that. Yeah, I'm just going to get started by getting the drawers out and then uh, probably turn it over, get the casters off. And uh, also got to get these, uh, I don't know what you call them where you're from, but we call these mud daubers. Got to get all this stuff cleaned up. Not sure what year it is. I'm guessing 80s. I haven't seen a uh, date stamp on it yet, but we'll look for that as well. Sometimes with these drawers, you can just take a little eighth inch screwdriver and pop these out. These, these are not working, so I'm having to revert to the file method. So you just take your end of your or hacksaw blade, not a file, and just bend the end of it up a little bit so that it goes past this. So that way there's a piece of metal now that allows the tab on the drawer to pass through the tab here. And you just kind of give it a little tug. Get the other side. To get the rails off the inside, you can see there's a, a tab here that catches on a little tab here, so, so it doesn't allow it to come out. Well, with these, you can take your screwdriver and just kind of pry it. It takes a little bit of effort. Just kind of pry it, and it pushes that down just enough to get it passed. And if you bend it too much, it's okay. You can always come back with a screwdriver and pop these out a little bit. See, that? it moves pretty easy. So I'll get the rest of these out and then uh, start cleaning everything up. Got all my drawer slides out. Uh, you can see they've all got some sort of grease on it. But I've got a bucket here with some Zep Industrial Concentrate Degreaser. I'll let these things soak in here for oh, half an hour or so. I'll start cleaning up the drawer slides here. Hopefully I can get all this stuff off. Oh yeah, it's coming right off. Just old dried grease or oil, whatever they put on them 40 years ago. All right, there we go. Just about good as new. Got the uh, channels all cleaned out. Cleaned out up underneath here so everything will slide smoothly once I get some oil on it. So a bunch more to do. Well, as usual, it took a lot longer to do this than I expected, but um, got all that old caked on grease off. Um, got them all looking really, really nice and slick. So should be good to go when I go to reassemble. This is the bottom drawer, so it's in the worst shape. Uh, I've got a lot of rust down here. Um, the underneath here is in pretty nasty shape. It's got some damage across here. Looks like something drug across it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to repaint the fronts of these. I'm probably not going to repaint the insides, the sides or the bottom because they never get seen. This is for display. I just want it to look nice, so.
Well, in my typical fashion, I kind of went overboard. Um, <clears throat> I ended up using the Dremel tool with the scotch Brite pads on there to address most of the rust. rust. And as I was cleaning it, I was using alcohol, and this paint just wiped right off with alcohol. <clears throat> so I've decided, since this is so easy to do, I'm just going to take some alcohol, and I'm going to go ahead and get all the paint off the front of these cabinets. I'm not worried about the rest of it, because I don't even think I'm going to paint them, but this alcohol just takes this paint right off. Time to get some color on the drawers. That made a big difference. Okay, the last uh, step for the drawers is I've got to get the Craftsman badge back on here. It goes down here. So I'm going to use a little split rivet to do it, uh, but the smallest ones I could find or had were eighth inch, so I've got to enlarge these holes just a little bit. So I like to take this chisel and you just put it down in between the, the two splits and if I had a third hand I could hammer it. We'll get a clamp. Very secure.
again I'm not looking for perfection here I'm just trying to make sure I got a good clean fairly smooth surface to get a, a coat of primer on Well, I was hoping I'd find this somewhere. So hidden underneath the paint, I've got a patent number and I found the Made in USA and it was made, it says W186. So not sure what that means, but I feel certain it was 1986. I don't know about the other lettering code. Well, I forgot to start the camera back, but I, I'm just going to go ahead and take all of these off and uh, give the bottom a quick clean. And I'm probably going to replace these bolts. They're, they're pretty rusty. I'm ready to get started painting on the tool chest and if you've watched any of my videos before you know that I absolutely love this product by Duplicolor called Rust Fix. I put it on before any primer or paint, depends on if I'm priming or not. And it just converts any surface rust or deep rust that's left on the metal uh, into a good paintable uh, surface so that it doesn't rust anymore. The uh, rust fix uh, dried really good overnight, so today I'm going to get, I'm not going to prime it, I'm just going to use this Rust-Oleum paint, and it's fine to use without a primer. Uh, and the color I'm using is called Regal Red, and it's about as close to the Craftsman Red as I can get. Get my mask on, get my fan on, and get the paint. When I reassemble, I'm going to put both of the swivel casters on this end rather than like this. Um, it's just going to make it easier for me to maneuver into place where I'm putting it.
I'll start with getting all the slides put back into the cabinet first. I'm going to start with coating each of the slides. I'll just go ahead and do the top and the bottom. With this PB50, it's a multi-purpose uh, lubricant. Should work really well on this, but I'm going to spray them over here on top of the towel. Don't need to come out much. be a pretty decent rolling tool chest. This is a 19, 1980s vintage Craftsman uh, five drawer chest. Uh, took it apart, cleaned everything up, repainted it, focused mainly on the front because that's all that's going to be seen once I get it underneath my workbench upstairs. So thanks for joining. Hope you're enjoying what I'm doing and hopefully you'll come back for the next one. Till then, take it easy. Hang tight and I'll show you some before and afters.